What is up everybody, Walk Escape here, and I'm doing something a little different this time. It's kind of a guide. If you like my skit stuff, don't worry, I'll put one out next week, but it's my channel. I make the videos I want to, and this time I thought I'd take a look at some combat achievements. Now, these have been a pretty fun update ever since they came into the game, and recently, a couple months ago, they were changed so that they're point-based and you don't have to finish a whole tier. Basically, I'm an idiot for doing all of the hard elite tasks when I really didn't need to, but it's good news for everyone who is stuck on a task or two in a certain tier and wants to jump up. And the Grandmasters, these guys right here, now these are the valuable ones. Six points for every task you can complete here. However, they get pretty tough, right? Perfect theater of blood, killing Bandos twice in a row without taking any damage from the boss or the minions. They're rough. But, lucky for you, I went through this whole list and picked out a couple that I thought were straight up free. Basically, if you have like a 5 out of 10 level of PVM knowledge, you're going to be fine here. If you can do some of the elites, you'll be able to do all four of these grandmasters, I promise. So basically, it's going to be 24 free points for you. And don't worry, I'm not a scam artist. I didn't just throw in the kill count challenges. That would have been cheating. These are all things that you can do in one kill count if you have a basic knowledge of the boss that you're at. So let's jump into it. I'm going to order these from most free to only mostly free. So definitely by far the easiest thing you can do on the Grandmaster task list. I should see a doctor. Now this one is next. The hardest thing about this is getting one KC at all the God Wars bosses. So if you can do that, you're golden. You don't need to know any mechanics. Bring out some kind of decent range gear. You could honestly have basically exactly what I'm wearing and be fine. Most important thing is that you do have your crystal colored stoplight. Otherwise, you'll get bad luck, bad RNG, no drops. Go to Nex. Get your KC. Just walk in and go to the Mass World. Now, you're probably just going to end up getting this over time in the Mass World, but you could also just ask around for people that might want to get the Grandmaster with you. I did that. Got it on my first try. Theoretically, you could also be a total dickwad and just follow someone throughout the kill without their permission and get it that way. I wouldn't condone that because uh, I'm not a douche, but let's check out the kill real quick. Getting into the kill now, so you can see I just start off by asking people again not to be an asshole. And there's two people, this Grej guy and Harmdy Izzel. They both need the same Grandmaster, so she throws out the cough. If you know nothing about next, just keep your Mage Prey up. That's really all you need to know. Once she throws out the cough, find the other people who are interested and just stay super close to them throughout the fight. You can literally just follow each other throughout the entire kill. Make sure you get like one hit on next so it counts for the KC. That's all you need to do. Now technically you're supposed to switch to your range prey in that second phase, but again, if you don't know anything, just bring a bunch of food and eat whenever you're low. Keep your mage prey up. You'll be totally fine and you'll get it. Stick with your friends. Make sure that the cough doesn't die out. We are huge plague spreaders here. We don't like that. Keep an eye on your prayer because the cough is going to be draining that. But just honestly, super easy. Speeding up the recording, you'll see here at the end, I get it. Literally no problem. By far the freest Grandmaster in the game. Okay, now that you've gotten out the way, the one Grandmaster that belongs in like medium, let's move up to the ones that belong in elite or so. There's two Vorkath tasks that I'd say are super easy to complete. Now, Vorkath is a common mid-level boss, so there's a good chance that a lot of people have experience with it and can knock out these. The first one, Faithless Encounter right here, kill Vorkath without losing any prayer points. It's basically a straight-up tank test, and if you have semi-decent armor and a lot of brews, you're going to be fine. I finished with a ton of supplies left, but we'll check out the full kill. And then the Fremnik Way, which is arguably one of the more badass concepts for a combat achievement, but frankly, pretty easy to do. Kill Vorkath with only your fists. Starting it off with Faithless Encounter, just get your best range gear, and I wear the Ring of Suffering with the recoil on for a little extra free damage. Now I'm using Masori here and a Dragon Hunter crossbow. You could get this done with Carols. You could probably even get it done with like Black Dragon Hide and a Rune crossbow. It's really, really easy to get through it. If you know the basic mechanics here, you're going to be totally fine. Just don't pray. If you're comfortable flicking rigor, you can to get it over a little quicker, but it's really not even necessary. Just get through the Vorkath kill like normal. Now, I totally forgot how you're supposed to whoops walk when you range, so I took a lot of extra damage here. 
and I still finished with well over half my supplies, Faithless Encounter, there you go. Now for the Fremnik way, it's just an endurance test. If you know how to do Vorecast mechanics, you're gonna be fine, but a couple little hacks. First, I like to teleport to the Fremnik area, drop a brew, and then bank, and basically once I teleport over, drop my sea boots in exchange for the extra brew, so I do get that one extra space. Probably not gonna need it, but it's a nice little additional safety net for you if you're scared. Uh, just pull out your best melee gear that you have, except obviously nothing in your weapon slot. You can use a defender, you can use basically anything, but nothing that would deal damage to Vorkath other than your fists. So you can't use the suffering recoil on this one. And I also brought an Ancestral Top for Crumble Undead as a switch. The wiki would say I might splash. I don't think you really splash all that much, but I just want to be super safe. Get a bunch of supplies like I have in my inventory. I'm using my Falador shield to make double extra sure, but again, didn't end up needing nearly this much material. And the last thing I'd recommend is that you have a Slayer task. If you can get a Blue Dragon Slayer task before doing this, it's actually a lot better to have a Slayer helmet on than a Salve because your accuracy is much different without the weapon. So it ends up being better with the helmet, at least according to the wiki. Now I like to start off kicking him because it just really feels like you're spitting in his face, showing him that he's really no more than a baby blue dragon. And make sure you switch up your attack styles throughout the fight to keep him on his toes, otherwise he'll get too settled. Now, I Wooks walked, and it helps your DPS a good bit, but if you don't know how to Wooks walk, you honestly don't need to be concerned. Again, just a shit ton of supplies that I still had at the end. You're going to be totally chilling. You could just walk out the acid every single time and you'd be fine. Now this was like a 12 minute fight or so, so I'm not gonna show the whole thing. I'm just gonna cut the clip now to right before I kill him. And there he goes, what an idiot. Congratulations on your newest Grandmaster Unlock. We're gonna round out the video with two challenges for the Corrupted Hunliff. Now you could definitely make the argument that CG is harder than Vorkath, but if you're doing the elite challenges just for completing the Corrupted Gauntlet, if you can do CG, I promise you can do both of these challenges in just a couple of tries. The first one, Eganol Diet 2. Now these also both have brother challenges in the elite tier for the Crystal Hunt lift, so you can start with those and then come here. Boom, you just got eight more points. You're welcome. Eganol Diet 2, though, kill the Corrupted Hunlift without making an Eganol Potion. Really straightforward. You just don't use offensive prayers. You don't have to prayer flick or anything like that. If you have more than, like, 80 prayer points, you'll be chilling for this one. And Wolf Puncher 2, where you only make one perfected weapon. There's a way you're supposed to do this, like, more elegantly, where you weapon swap for your six hit every time. But you can honestly just have one bullshit weapon, one perfected weapon, and just kill the Hunlift like normal and end up fine. So let's go through those runs real quick. I'm going to play this clip at pretty fast speed because it's literally just a regular run of Corrupted Gauntlet. If you feel like you can prayer flick, do that against the little minions and the demi bosses. I really didn't end up needing to though. I finished with 20 some prayer points left and towards the end I was even throwing on rigor and augury just to get the kill quicker so I had a ton of buffer. Now I am 99 prayer so that helps out but frankly you should be. If you're not just go to the chaos altar for a bit you bum and do the CG run just like normal. Get your resources. You obviously don't have to make egg and all, so you'll get a little bit of time back from that. And if you do feel that you have a lot of time left in your gathering, flicking off your run could be useful. I found managing my run energy to probably be a bigger problem than managing my prayer, actually. If you go into the fight with like 30 or so run though, you should be chilling. If you have any extra time, just wait it out in the lobby and get ready for the fight. It's going to be a super normal Hunlift fight. I'm probably not even going to show the whole thing. I'll show it at the end to prove to you that I did indeed do it and I'm not faking it till I make it. I already had the challenge so you won't see it show up but you can see there's no egg and all in my inventory. Don't at me. And let's just jump forward to the end of the kill at this point. Cake. Four down, one to go. I'm not going to bother showing an entire Corrupted Gauntlet Gathering. Again, you know what's going on from the last clip, and I assume you know what you're doing. All I would say here is, if you could get the perfect bow, that's probably the best thing because of rigor, if you have that. I did the perfect bow and the shitty magic staff, and you definitely probably want to have at least tier 2 armor because the fight's just going to take longer. 
That's basically it. Let's go ahead and just jump into how I killed it. Now because Jamflex is out to get me, he started praying range, which is my good weapon naturally, but it is what it is. Just run in there with the staff. Once he's mage, start hitting him with the bow. Now I'll give you an example of what people say you should do here, is hit him five times, pull off your bow, smack him, and now he's praying melee, and you can keep using your perfected weapon. But this isn't a guide about getting grandmasters the right way. It's a guide about getting grandmasters the free way. So from here on out, I'm just gonna fight it like it's literally a normal Hunlift fight and use my crappy magic staff whenever it's praying range and just get through the fight that way to show you that it's totally fine. You can do it that way. Now this was the last clip I filmed of the five tasks and by this point I was low-key buzzing a little bit, not gonna lie. So if I can do the fight with little trouble like that, then you'll be totally good. I made a number of mistakes, took a lot of damage, and still finished it out with a few paddlefish. Beyond that, there's really not much to it. I'll let the fight keep playing out in the background. It's been a little while since I've made a more guide type video, and I do like that stuff, but don't worry, next week I'll come out with more of a commentary, random type video like I've often been doing that people seem to like. Hope you enjoyed this one though, and if you're not a huge PVMer, that it gave you at least a couple examples. Maybe the Hunliff ones are tougher, but hopefully at least the next ones and a few others, you were able to get some free Grandmaster points from it. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching, as always, and we will just play this thing out. I'm pretty much out of words at this point. I thought the Hunliff would die faster. This non-perfected uh, weapon really kind of sucks ass, but... What can you do? Come on, finish him out. Take a ton of damage here. Again, not in my right state of mind. Click on one of the videos you probably see on screen at this point if you wanna see another one of mine. And I will see you in the next one. Here he goes. Holy, all right, peace.